Hey guys, it's Mo. So today I have for you another Cricut related um, Cricut Design Space video. So if you've been living under a rock or if you didn't know or if you've been terrified to try the new design space, I wanted to just go over some things with you. Today I'm going to tell you um, how to print and cut and upload and whatnot, how to print then cut the sticker images from my shop. I reopened my 5 16th designs printable planner shop. There's inserts and stickers in there and how to print and cut the stickers that will be uploaded to the Cricut um, Ready stickers group. Right now, side note, right now in the Cricut Ready stickers group, all of the stickers in the files are the old five and a half by eight size. They're going to stay that way. I'm not going to go through and redo them. Um, I will show you, I will film another video on how to change them. Um, I think I might just put that in my um, in the Cricut Ready stickers group though. Um, so you might want to keep a lookout for that. Um, so I'm going to show you that how to print and cut the stickers that I offer, uh, how to set a default printer setting on your printer to print at the best quality, and how to use some of the features, some of the new features, some of the old features where things are located at in the uh, new design space here. And I want to talk about um, uninstalling design space. So I think that is all that I have. So first off, this is what the new design space looks like if you haven't checked it out. I have heard that it is beneficial to launch from the Cricut Bridge that shows up right here when you um, download and update to new design space. If you haven't ever visited cricut.com slash design or design.cricut.com, I would suggest you figure out how to uninstall old design space from your computer. And it's really simple. You just Google how do I uninstall design space from my computer. And one of the first returns is this um, how to article from Cricut itself. So follow that, then just go to design.cricut.com and it'll prompt you to um, download things and whatnot. So when you go to design.cricut.com, you will get to this landing page. It will show you all these really cool uh, projects that you can make that are like sponsored by Cricut, like they're designed by Cricut Explorer, which this little tassel tote here. I'm all over because I'm really loving me some tassels right now. It's also going to show you your project. So if you want to create a new project, you just click on new project and I want to replace it because I am just trying to do something new. So all your little tools, you got some tools over here, you got some tools over here and you have some tools down here and some tools up here. Uh, this little three line guy, this is where you can find the print and cut calibration and you can also manage your custom materials from here. So I like to cut a lot of thicker materials and I just use the regular blade. So I like to um, set new uh, custom materials for myself. I will leave a link down below to a blog post on the uh, on how to add um, new custom materials. It's from the old design space, but it works nearly the same. So um, we have projects here and this is going to show you what was on the home page. These are all the Cricut made projects, the projects that, you know, Cricut sort of like sponsors. I don't know if I want to say sponsors, but you know what I mean? Like somebody at Cricut was like, I'm going to come up with this. And that's what they did. Um, which that's really cute too. Um, then you've got images, which is where you can access all the Cricut clip art. If you subscribe to an access, Cricut access subscription, all the things that you've purchased, you can search and filter and whatnot. Text is adding text onto your canvas. Shapes is adding shapes onto your canvas and upload is uploading an image. So First off, before we get to uploading an image, I want to show you something. If you're designing in Cricut Design Space and let's say you want to make a, um, a whole sticker page of just today headers. I will leave a link down below to my Cricut design space and designing stickers sort of playlist because the designing and the creation of the sticker sheets is generally the same. Um, you, you know, all of those things apply in here. You're just working in a different and then different looking environment. So we're going to add a shape. I'm not going to size this properly, but we're going to add a square. I'm going to unlock it. And that means that we can make it whatever size we want. We're going to make a today header. I don't know if I said that already. Um, we're going to make a today header. So I'm going to add text as well. And I'm going to type in today. I'm also going to change this to be print and I'm going to change this to white and I'm going to overlay this guy on this here. I'm also going to change him to be print 
and I'm gonna make him a little bit bigger. So you can like eyeball it and say, okay, that looks about right. Or you can drag and select all of these. So we're selecting the background and the today, or you can hold down the shift key and click on the background and then click on today. And you can hit align and center vertically and then align and I'm sorry, center horizontally and then center vertically. That's gonna put the today right smack dab in the middle of this little box. Then we can also go use our uh, font tools here if you want, it shows you what font you're using, the style, font size, things like that. I like this letter space guy here because it's gonna push your letters farther apart and sometimes you just think that looks cool. So we can do that. I might make this box a little bit bigger here. And then do the same thing, align center horizontally, align center vertically, and we've got a today header. Now we can group these guys. And what that means is just when I click on it, I'm all, I'm going to be able to select and move everything. It's not like, oh, I accidentally moved the today. I moved everything. Now we want to make a whole sheet of these. So we're going to go edit, copy, edit, paste. It's going to bring another one in. I'm going to uh, highlight and select all of those. Copy paste and now we have four of these guys and I also want to distribute them evenly so we're going to go back to align center horizontally and we're going to go to distribute vertically and that's going to make these spaces in between these guys the right size so now if you want to hit if you want to make it we've got to do some more things but I want to show you how it looks um, if you do make it we've got the four without attaching or flattening or anything. We've got the four print then cut gray parts and you can't read it because they're white, the todays. And that's not what we want. So if we were to select all of these and attach like we did before in previous design space and hit make it or go, you would think you would be able to cut everything out the way, the way that you want. However, you can see that they are all lined up together on the page, but the difference in this new design space between attach and flatten is this. If you attach, everything's going to print in the way that you have laid it out on the canvas. However, it's going to cut everything individually. So it's going to cut out this square and then it's going to cut out the T and the O and the D and the A and the Y. And we'll, it will repeat for each of these guys. So the benefit to that is, and I will do a video on this as well, is now you can sort of create a workaround to get all of your stickers kiss cut and then also have the Cricut cut your page from the um, from the sticker sheet. So cut your individual sticker sheet out. Um, so cut it, you know, like around here and pop it from the sticker sheet. I hope that makes sense. And that means you can also now make uh, add your logo on to your sticker sheet without having the Cricut cut it out. That's going to be another video. I just did want to mention that you're able to do that, though. So we're going to click cancel um, and you can't really tell the difference once you're on the make it page between these. You just have to remember that attach and flatten are different now. Now, if we go to flatten, everything becomes one. Previously, a good way to sort of remember that is previously when it's attached, everything is attached together, but it's still a separate um, everything's a separate entry here. When we go to flatten, it brings everything into one entry and that means it's going to cut everything individual. So when we click on make it, what we're going to have is one big old today box, one big old today box, a big old today box. It's not going to cut the box and the letters individually. Also, you can sort of see on here that the, um, the, Quality is a little bit blurry. I am, I believe that's just how it's rendering on the screen. When I have printed things previously, the print quality has seemed to um, increase dramatically, drastically from previous um, iterations of Design Space. So I'm going to hide this guy. I'm going to show you how to upload images here. Now, this is going to be how you would upload and cut images from the Cricut Design Space, or from the Cricut Design Space, from the Cricut Ready Stickers Group, or from the shop. So you can just upload an image, select upload an image. It's much like you did it before. Select browse. Um, I am going to find a um, sticker sheet that I want to upload. And when you purchase from the shop, what you get is four PDF files as well as four PNG files. So I'm going to upload this rainbow, rainbow neutral. That one was named wrong. Rainbow washing machine stickers. And I'm going to select open. And this works really quickly. Um, 
much quicker than previous design space, I feel like. And what you're getting is a PNG with a transparent background. What that means is you can see all these checkerboards behind it, meaning the Cricut is going to cut around each of these individual guys. We're going to select complex image. We're going to go to continue. We're going to scroll down here and use our eraser to erase this branding strip. And I have said this before, just because you're erasing this branding strip does not mean, oh, now I'm taking everything off. That means I can make my own branding strip and say, this is my design now. That's not true at all in the least. You're erasing this to make it easier for Cricut Design Space to cut your images. You don't want Design Space to cut out all these little letters. That's that's unnecessary. So we're going to hit continue. It's going to bring up and ask you to save it as a, either as a print and cut image or as a cut image. What you want to do is always select print and cut because you don't want just little boxes. You want the washing machines to print. I also name all of my files either from the Cricut Ready Stickers group or from the shop something that is easy identifiable and that you can search for. So um, you just click save. This is a much quicker process than previous design space. It's It doesn't take you 700 years to make one sticker sheet. It just uploads and it's done. So you select it, you insert it. The new print and cut area is 6.75 by 9.25 inches. That is nearly like a whole two rows and two columns of more stickers the way that I design stickers. So in order to change that, you just go up here to size 6.75 and type that in and then it should the height because you have the lock on here the height should automatically adjust so we'll just go to make it and it's going to be on your mat and it's going to print now the um registration marks are a little bit different if you haven't used them before there are some um what you call it some projects on my blog that I'm going to have to rethink and maybe republish because what the how it reads these registration marks now is it sort of the light goes over here and then it goes down and goes over like here then it comes back up and goes over here then it comes back down and goes over here then it goes like right here and then right here and then right here so it's a weird it's a weird way it's a different way I didn't think they would do it that way but okay so when we hit continue it's going to bring everything up and connect to your device. I highly suggest you getting one of those Bluetooth. If, if you don't, if you have a Cricut Explorer and not a Cricut Explorer One or any of the ones that are connected by Bluetooth, I would get a Bluetooth dongle. Um, I still have the original Cricut Explorer, the one with the green on the bottom, and my I love this little Bluetooth dongle. Dongle is a great word. Um, <laughs> to connect it to my computer, I don't have to use the long wire and whatnot. But not all, not all computers are wire or Bluetooth enabled. So I had to get another Bluetooth dongle for my computer so that they could talk to each other. So um, we'll hit send to printer. And here's the unfortunate thing. You cannot open any other dialog box but this dialog box. So that means you cannot change the, um, the print quality, the um, color quality. You can't change any of that. So we have to go and make our default print quality we have to change our default print quality. So in order to do that, let me close this. In order to do that, number one step, Google your printer. If you have any questions, just Google your printer. Google is your friend. It will help you with a lot of things. Um, but what you want to do is just go to your start menu. I believe it's going to be the same in um, like Windows 8 or Windows 10. Same sort of deal. Start menu, control panel. Under control panel, it might be under settings under Windows 10, but you just want to find, you know, Google, how do I set my default print quality for my printer or something? And you should find an article that will help you do it. But devices and printers, I'm going to find my, um, what, 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 devices and printers. There we go. Um, I'm going to find my printer, HP PhotoSmart D110 series, right click, printing preferences. We're going to make a new one of these guys. So there's all these printing presets that we have. We're going to make a new one. So I'm just going to click on general everyday printing. I'm going to change print quality to best. I'm going to go over to features and I'm going to change um, my paper to something different. You can choose. I think that if you choose something like the photo papers, it just makes the quality a little bit better. I also, you want to make sure that the print quality is best. Um, print and color. Uh, portrait because for the most part your 
Cricut's going to print in portrait mode. Advanced, I always change the ink volume to be one more than normal. And previously, I felt like that gave me the most crisp image when I was printing from the poor resolution of previous design space. I never could get that resolution to bump up. So hit OK. Oops. I ruined it already. Right click, printing preferences. Let's see here. Okay, so we changed all of this stuff. I didn't mean to hit OK. Um, make sure all of this is the same. Yep, yep, okay. So now we go back to the first tab, Printing Shortcuts, and you're going to click Save As. I always say this as best, best for stickers. Okay. Now we have a new preset here, and on, in order to make it the default that everything is going to print every time you print is to go to Apply. And now when we go here and we print, let's see if we can get, yes, yeah, send to printer. You still can't pick anything, but when you print it, it's going to be the best quality. Now I want to show you something else. That's going to mean that anytime you're printing from the internet, you're printing out a reservation, you're printing out some inserts, you're printing out something, you'll have to go in and change your printer preferences every time. It's not really that difficult. And if you do a lot with the Cricut Explorer and you print a lot of stickers, it's not going to affect you that much. So let's say you have this PDF that you want to print. All you do is file, print, and we'll get, this is for my printer, so it may be different for your printer. You might want to Google your printer. Um, don't Please don't ask me questions because I don't know every printer. Um, and instead of choosing, instead of having best for printers, just choose general everyday printing and hit OK. And that means it's going to print it this time as general everyday printing, and you can hit print. And so it will be fine. So let's go over here one more time. Oops. Yeah, best for stickers, and it should be there. Okay, I think I printed this before, so that's why it wasn't selected as the default. So, Ben, if anytime you're printing something else, just go into your printer preferences, file, print, properties, and select it from here to be here, or whatever you want. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. And then hit OK, and then print. Um, so no, I don't want to save that. So now we have the best print quality here. And I believe that is all I wanted to talk about um, in this little video here. I went over how to uninstall design space, set your default printer, launch from the bridge, which is going down here and launching it from here and the new print and cut area, which is now 6.75 by 9.25. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you found it helpful, please let me know. Please leave a comment. Please like, please subscribe. I would love for you to stick around and see what else is on the channel. Um, I have some more videos coming out. There's a bunch of playing with me videos. Um, so yeah. And if you haven't already joined, please join the Cricut Ready Stickers group on Facebook. I will leave a link down below. I thank you so much for watching and I hope you found it helpful. Uh, thanks for watching guys. Bye.